Hello guys, I'm Chrissy, and today I wanted to take you for a little tour of my home studio um, to see what it's like as a working artist mama. Alright, let's go. So this is my um, area where I do all of my painting. It's kind of basically just a hallway on the way to the kitchen from the lounge room. Here are all my originals packaged up. My yummy stash of pens. Hello. So many. Inks. Uh, this one's missing because it's up on the table. I'll show you that shortly. Uh, yummy, yummy. These are my favourites. I love these. And my golden neons. So lovely. Some paint mediums. And a whole heap more here. These are really awesome inks that I use. Uh, they're Art Spectrum inks, so I just buy the great big one. Can I go through it so much? Um, I just scored this awesome, awesome, awesome stash of National Geographics. Um, and I cut all of these. I just flip through, find images that I like, and I cut them up to put in my paintings. Here is my stash of oracle cards, um, my intuitive wisdom decks, and my mama nurture decks. So I always put those with a lovely little handwritten thank you card. And I just got these in today. These are the little... Um, wrap string bags that fit the uh, decks in so beautifully. So they'll be listed very shortly. These sell out really quick so by the time you watch this I'm not sure if there will be any left. <laughs> um, all my packaging bits and pieces, more packaging. Um, here are all of the papers and things that I use for my painting when I work on paper. Um, I'll do a special post about this at some stage but this is my own personal art therapy journal um, I'm pretty almost through it so once I'm through I'm going to do a special very 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 personal post on that so stay tuned here is my stash of papers for collage these are all ones I just painted with inks um, so that I can use my own work um, for collage um, some yummy serviettes that I got from Ikea. Um, my auntie passed away recently, so I've dried some flowers. don't know what I'm going to... Dried some roses. I don't know what I'll do with those. I'm sure I'll find something. Uh, some beautiful um, screen, hand screen printed paper that I bought on holidays. I've just collected these over years and years and years. Um, and when I feel the urge, I pop them in. Here I've got my wall of bits and pieces. Look at this. <laughs> Some little um, memories that my son made, my hubby and I. Some beautiful paintings and prints that I've gotten along the way. And over here, I'm set up ready to do, uh, keep working on this painting here. I feel like um, this next session, I haven't known what to do up the top here. That's a collaged piece out of National Geographic. Um, you can see there's heaps of texture in this. I've got layers and layers of paper. This was a horse from National Geographic that I painted over the top um, and added a unicorn. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to do like more of an inky uh, night sky background there. I've got all of my little favourite stash of brushes and um, sponges. I've got my water set up. Here's some more papers that my son and I created together. And a whole bunch of images pre-cut that I found inspiring out of National Geographic magazines. I don't know which ones I'll use, if any. But they're just wonderful. Look at that. You can just derive so much inspiration. Oh, oh my God. So beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, my One of my two very, very thick palettes. I don't know if you can see how thick the paint is actually on this. <laughs> Uh, and I always have, uh, these are actually an old pair of pyjama pants fleece ones that I've just chopped up and I use those as rags for my painting. Nice fresh water. As you can see, I'm doing this on the kitchen table right next to a bowl of fruit. 
Uh, so this is the chair that I sit in when I do my painting and then next to that chair I always have the paints that I'm using. So I've recently discovered Hydrocryl. They're an Australian company, an eco-friendly paint company. This purple, oh, it almost looks black but when it comes out I'll see if I can find a bit. Um, yeah, it's just really deep and then if you add a small amount of white to it, it just makes the most beautiful, beautiful purple. Uh, so Hydrocryl are amazing and their turquoise is just delicious as well. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed taking a little look through my home studio and I'll see you next time. See ya, bye! <laughs>